All right, we're going to go through the heart and human blood vessels. Basically, human heart, human blood vessels. We're going to start with the heart. First thing about the heart is get your bearings. Figure out which direction the heart is, whether you've got it looking at the front, the back, whatever. And the way you tell, look at the aorta. It's the easiest way. It goes up and to the left. So you can tell this is the anterior part of the heart. This is the posterior part of the heart. And if you're turning around, there's the posterior part. But the key point is, identify where the aorta is. So we're going to go straight down the list. First part of the heart we're going to learn. Right atrium. Top part, right. This chamber here. Right atrium. Oracle. Is this flap, right oracle, left oracle. Um, then we have right ventricle. Right ventricle is the bottom part, right here. Here's the right ventricle. Notice the wall's not as thick as the left ventricle. It only has to pump to the lungs, so it's not quite as thick. It's low pressure. Then we have left atrium. Here, top chamber on the left side. Then we have the left ventricle. Note the left ventricle, heavy muscle wall. This has to pump all the blood throughout the whole body. Then we have apex. Down here, the point at the bottom. You normally think the apex is at the top of something. It's the point at the bottom. That's the apex. All right. Now, if we were to pop this thing apart, I'm going to reassemble this. We're going to look at the coronary arteries. Here's the aorta right after the valve, the aortic valve. There's two coronary arteries. One goes out right, one goes out left. Guess what? Right one's the right coronary artery, left one's the left coronary artery. And while we're here, we'll take a look at some valves. First of all, in here, between the right atrium, right ventricle, is the tricuspid valve, also known called the right atrial ventricular valve. And then we have inside, if we were to pop this thing out, we'll take a look. There's chordae tendinae. These are tendons, um, connective tissue cords, that basically keep the valve from prolapsing into the right atrium. The pressure in here would be enough that it would cause that valve to pop out like a cheap umbrella in the wind. So they have the tendons to hold the valve. Then we have um, the mitral valve, which is over here. The mitral valve, also called the bicuspid valve, and it's the left atrial ventricular valve. It's got the same iron, chordae tendinae. Um, we have the pulmonary semilunar valve. It's coming here, off the right atrium, up here, pulmonary valve. Note, this model shows the pulmonary artery as blue. It's got deoxygenated blood. It's going to the lungs, so it's considered, it's painted blue. Um, this goes to the lungs. It's the only artery that's blue. It's the only artery that carries deoxygenated blood. It's a wonderful test question. Um, then we have the aortic semilunar valve. No, left, left ventricle goes up here to the aorta. Here's the aorta. It's the semilunar valve to the aorta. This connects to the aortic arch. Um, <coughs> Back over here, if we reassemble this a little bit and turn it, we can take a look at the veins coming into the heart. We have the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. Superior is on top, inferior is in the bottom. These flow into the right atrium. Okay, if we go back to this aorta, vessels coming off the heart, we have the aorta. The aorta, three main parts of it at the heart. The ascending aorta is going up the arch, the aortic arch, descending aorta, going down. All right. So we'll take a look at a couple of the coronary arteries while we're here. We'll pop this back together. All right. We'll figure out the right and left coronary arteries. Now, big term. There is left anterior intraventricular artery. Big way to say Left, in between the ventricles. This is the left anterior intraventricular artery. 
It's on the anterior surface. It's from the left coronary artery, and it goes right there in between the ventricles. Then we have um, the circumflex artery. Circumflex means it goes around. It comes off the left here and circles around the heart. Circumflex. Then we have the veins for the coronary veins. One we're really worried about is the coronary sinus. All the veins come together here to coronary sinus. Coronary veins come to the coronary sinus. And this flows into the right atrium here. So this is the coronary sinus. And we will go back up here after the coronary sinus. And we'll talk about some of the arteries that come off the aorta. The way I remember them is BCS, brachiocephalic, left common carotid, C for carotid, S for subclavian, left subclavian. So B, brachiocephalic, C, left common carotid, S, left subclavian. And that's those three that come off the arch. Now, the right common carotid and the right subclavian come off this brachiocephalic, but they come off a little further on right about here. Um, but those are the ones that come off the top. <coughs> now, if we were to look at pulmonary, here's the pulmonary trunk. Comes off the pulmonary valve, comes up, splits. Sorry. Splits into the right pulmonary artery, left pulmonary artery. Right pulmonary artery goes here underneath the aortic arch. Now, notice this is blue, but it's an artery. It's carrying deoxygenated blood. Now, um, then we have the pulmonary veins. We have the left pulmonary veins over here. They come back in, dump into the left atrium. Notice they're red. They're veins, but they're coming to the hearts. They're veins. And then we have the right ones coming in from the right side. We're looking at the back of the heart here. They're coming in from the right side. And last part of the heart that we're going to learn for this class, ligamentum arteriosum. It's a ligament. It's the one that's there. It's obvious. It's right there attached to the aortic arch. Little funky ligament attaching those two together. That's ligamentum arteriosum. And we can now move on to the human blood vessels.